In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Praise be Jesus and Mary, now and forever. Dear brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the memorial of St. Margaret of Scotland. Margaret of Scotland, or Margaret of Wessex, was an English princess born in Hungary to Princess Agatha of Hungary and English Prince Ed Edward in exile around the year 1045. Margaret and her family returned to England when she was 10 years old, and her father was called back as a potential successor to the throne. However, Edward died immediately after the family arrived, but Margaret and Edgar continued to reside at the English court. In the year 1070, she married King Malcolm Canmore the third, the King of Scotland. Together they had eight children, six sons and two daughters, all of whom were raised with deep Catholic Christian faith. They lived as a holy family, a domestic church. Margaret's kind nature and good heart was a strong influence on Malcolm's reign. She softened his temper and helped him become a virtuous King of Scotland. Together they prayed, fed the hungry, and offered a powerful example of living faith in action. Margaret was placed in charge of all domestic affairs and was often consulted with state matters as well. She promoted the arts and education in Scotland. Her impact in Scotland led her to being referred to as the Pearl of Scotland. She constantly worked to aid the poor in Scotland. She encouraged people to live a devout life grow in prayer, and grow in holiness. She helped to build churches, including the Abbey of Dunfermlin, where a relic of the true cross is kept. She was well known for her deep life of prayer and piety. She set aside specific times for prayer and to read scripture. She lived holiness of life as a wife, mother, and laywoman, truly in love with Jesus Christ. In 1093, Malcolm and their eldest son were killed during the Battle of Anwick. Already ill and worn from a life full of austerity and fasting, Margaret passed away four days after her husband on November the 16th, 1093. In 1250, Pope Innocent IV canonized Margaret as a saint, acknowledging her life of holiness and extraordinary virtue, and Pope Clement X made her the patroness of Scotland. Dear brothers and sisters, I'd like to just reflect a little bit on um, what we've heard about her life. She raised her eight children with deep Catholic faith, and they lived as a holy family. She prayed together with her husband. They lived holiness, she lived holiness of life as a wife, mother, and laywoman, truly in love with Jesus Christ. So let us think of all mothers today. They must raise their children with deep Catholic faith. They must live as a holy family. And we must encourage husbands and wives to Pray together as a couple. This will bring many blessings on your family. We've also learned that she set aside specific times for prayer and to read the scripture. We heard how she was truly in love with Jesus Christ. So reading the scripture helps you to love Jesus. Setting aside time for prayer. She encouraged people to live a devout life, grow in prayer, and to grow in holiness. So you must be instruments to spread God's love, to spread holiness around you, beginning with your home, with your children, with your family. We saw the influence she had on her husband. Have an influence on those close to you, even those in your wider family. We learned how she promoted the arts and education. There is so much creativity out there, even within our own home, your children perhaps. 
Pray that you can bring out the best in your children, bring out the best in your wider family and everyone you come into contact with. And finally, place the Blessed Virgin Mary in your home. For if you bring her in your home, allow the Immaculate Heart of Mary to have a central place, a central role in your house, she will bring Jesus into your lives. She will bring Jesus into your home. So pray the Holy Rosary as a family, and husband and wife, pray the Rosary as a couple, and you will see many, many blessings. She is a model not only as a laywoman, not only as royalty, let us think of all the kings and queens um, of the British Isles in the past, let us pray continuously for our current royal family, but she is a woman who is truly in love with Jesus Christ. We have to love him above all things, and in loving him, he would take care of the rest, even our families, our marriage, everything we have been given. So, dear brothers and sisters, place the Immaculate Heart of Mary as the center of your house. Let Our Lady enter your home. Allow her to reign in your home. And set time for prayer and scripture. Get to know the sacred scripture. And as we heard the reading from Proverbs, be like this woman. I'm speaking particularly to um, women. I'm aware of that. But live what we've just read in our epistle. Let those words be spoken of of you. Let that be you. And through the Immaculate Heart of Mary and through the intercession of St. Margaret, we can have a society where there are many, many women who are like St. Margaret. And in this way, we will have a holy society because the woman is the image of the Blessed Virgin Mary, she who brought salvation into the world, she who crushes the head of the serpent, and let her be the center of your families. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.